indeed. A very warm welcome to our Christmas edition of Blankety Blank, which simply means the prizes are still as bad, but they're, they're a bit older, that's all. That's all. <laughs> and Christmas has a special feel. Easter eggs are in the shops. <laughs> we'll have to be careful, because one day religion might start creeping back into it. <laughs> Christmas. Time for children. So many beautiful things in the shops for kids. Not like when I was a child. Aww. We never had a turkey at Christmas. Aww. We used to give the budgie chest expanders. <laughs> there was televisions at home on Christmas Day. It was five aside to a cracker. <laughs> I never had any toys. Aww. I used to sit in the bath with a handful of greasy plates. <laughs> No, I err, I tell a lie. Oh, fibs. I remember one present of my father. It was a rattle. Every time I shook it, the snake on the end bit me. <laughs> but we've got a panel tonight that's full of goodies just for you. Something you can really get your teeth into. Let's see who we have on the panel tonight. All specially selected from various labour exchanges, right? <laughs> what do I see in the guise of a bell? A rotund figure. I think his agent's Greenpeace. <laughs> I see a candle, thin. Put these two together and you have that wonderful act, Little and Large! I think you look right greatly. I'm frightened to sit on me donger, I hope I don't. <laughs> It'll go like the club as if it does. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting on my wick already. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is the only acting show business went on a stage and got arrested for loitering. <laughs> Take your seats, lads, and we'll see you right, later, right? right? <laughs> Who else have we got on the tree? Don't forget, children, it's face pulling gear. <laughs> Pull a face at Father Christmas and go, hello. <laughs> We have... No, it can't be a Japanese wrestler with dandruff. <laughs> no. It is, of course, our snowflake. Linda Barron! <laughs> I must say, you look absolutely stunning, the three of you. <laughs> Take your seat, Linda. <laughs> Off you go, Linda. See you later. Right. <laughs> you see, children, no twee, no twee is complete <laughs> <laughs> without a little fairy. <laughs> Where are you at Christmas, Wendy? I'm in Brighton, in Cinderella. Oh, that's very nice. You make a lovely fairy. Oh, thank you, but I'm not playing a fairy. You're not? No. Oh, what are you playing? I'm playing a butch part. I'm going to be Dan Dino. Oh, <laughs> 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 Christmas, kids, is a time for pulling crackers. <laughs> and we've got a real cracker with you tonight. A wonderful Irish comedian who started off line life in partial obscurity, but today is in total oblivion. <laughs> it's the brain mantis himself, Frank Carson! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cracker. <laughs> no, you look very nice. Thank, thank you, Les. And I'm like looking forward can, can to doing. Can I get your... worded? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm looking forward to doing this show tonight because it will be a real success. Which camera? With me in it. <laughs> Frank Carson's a wonderful person. Thank you. He paused for breath once. I thought I'd gone deaf. <laughs> I think you look like an advert. Thank you. For Lord Caesar. Take your place over there. Right? Who have we got in this stocking? 
<laughs> it's a stocking that every man wants to get into because it's lumpy. <laughs> Samantha Fox, where are you? Tell the ladies and the gentlemen what you're doing for Christmas. I'm staying at home for Christmas, not working this Christmas. You're not working at Christmas? No. So you'll be at home, will you? You coming to dinner? Pardon? Gonna share my turkey? Oh, I'll show. <laughs> mm. Yeah? Mm. Oh. <laughs> Wish you had a duck and have a gander. <laughs> now, do sit down and thank you for the mamma. Thank you, Come on, sit down, man. <laughs> Well, that's our panel, and I think you'll agree we've reached an all-time level. Now then, <laughs> let's meet the people who really matter, our sterling contestants tonight. <laughs> Lindy, you look beautiful. <laughs> Linda Benny, mm. from Falkirk in Scotland. You have two daughters, Laura and Pamela. Mm -hmm. You once worked as a kennel maid, but you didn't like it and you hoped that somebody would retrieve it. <laughs> Rebook him. Rebook him. <laughs> Thanks, Les. Now, what's this? At school, you were a kid nicknamed Twiggy because mm. you were thin. Yeah. And when you pulled your tongue out, it looked like a zip. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Well, stand up, so look at you now. Bloody hell, you have to sit there. <laughs> no, no, I've seen more fat on a cold chip. <laughs> no, but you're not being that. Yeah. Now, we talk to you now, Roger, if you don't mind the expression. Roger Hulbert, you're from South Wales, right. and you share your cottage with two cats, James and Luke. That's correct. Right? And actually, one of your cats you bought in, in Amsterdam, in Holland, because you saw it in this window, and you said, how Dutch is that moggy in the window? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you. <laughs> Be your cup of tea, but it's my bread and butter. <laughs> and it's Christmas. The festive season. Yeah. Right. You work as a manager of a jewellery store. That's correct. And your favourite food is carrots. Right, over the show. Coming. Ladies are always first, Linda, on the show, in case the scenery collapses. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> Historians have now discovered discovered that one of the three kings came from Scotland and the presents which the kings actually brought for the baby infant were gold, frankincense and blanks. Historians, Edward, Got you, Les. have now discovered that one of the three kings, Linda, yes. came from Scotland, Sydney, yeah. and the presents which the kings actually brought for the baby infant were gold, frankincense and blanks. Lights on, please, when you have an answer. Right, what's your answer to this? Haggis. You're going for the haggis, right. Edward, we have uh, haggis. Well, 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 well. How about that? Well done, young man. Proud of you. <laughs> Linda. <laughs> and haggis. Haggis. Sydney. I'm there to show you this. Go on, show it, Sid. Backpack. Never mind. You're the cover of Scotland, don't they? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <coughs> so did the Royal Scot, we didn't win you anything. <laughs> Samantha! It says Agus, honestly. You've done well. Carson, my boy. As a member of the Conservation Society, I am against these things being shot day after day. <laughs> <laughs> you don't shoot him, you gas him. Oh. Right here. Bye -bye. Wendy! Bye -bye. Bye -bye. I thought it might have been. A blankety blank checkbook and pay. Ah, oh, <laughs> creep. I thought perhaps it might be a haggis. Oh, it is, right. <laughs> you can do no wrong. Very good, you're fine there, right? Right, Roger, you've got to sort of summon your powers now. They have a very strange Christmas in Australia. It's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Father Christmas doesn't have a reindeer to pull his sleigh, he has a blank instead. It's obvious, isn't it? Elephant. <laughs> <laughs> they have a very strange Christmas in Australia. <laughs> Father Christmas doesn't have a reindeer to pull. Yeah. To pull his sleigh. Yeah. He has a blank instead. Really? I got this. What a double action. I like it, I like it, eh? Right, we have. Yeah, we got that one. Right, so please. 
right, Roger? They have a very strange okay. Christmas in Australia. Father Christmas doesn't have a reindeer to pull. To pull his sleigh, he has a blank instead. Kangaroo. A kangaroo! Yeah! Yeah! Well, Les, I was trying my hardest to see what Sammy had written, but I couldn't quite... Uh, see it. <laughs> I mean, it affected me. A answer. kangaroo! Well done, Linda. Guess what? What about me? Bagpipes, Sid. Bagpipes. Yeah, you see? What have you got for me, little one? Oh, bless her little heart. <laughs> well done. Frank? My favourite animal. Well done. Thank you, Les. Thanks, Thank Les. Would you like to say something to the audience? Thank yeah. you, no. Thanks, Les. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy? Kangaroo. Kangaroo, well done. <laughs> Right, Linda. Now you can only match with Sid. Sid. Oh my. Oh no. Oh, oh, else Sid, you know <laughs> oh no. Well, she's sure of a pen. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Santa Claus crashed on the ice. Oh. Oh. He was taking a short cut across a frozen pond. Oh. He would have gone under, but for his blank, catching on a jagged edge. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what time does the programme go out at? It's three in the morning with us. Oh, one. lovely, yeah. Santa Claus crashed on the ice, taking a shot, cutting across the frozen pond. He would have gone under, but for his blank catching on a jagged edge. All right, Sid. Yeah, I've done it. Right. Just put me light on, hang on. Santa Claus crashed on the ice, taking a shot, cut across the frozen pond. <laughs> he would have gone under, but for his blank <laughs> catching on the jagged edge. There's a bottle. Is buckle. <laughs> oh, buckle. Buckle. That. buckle. Yeah. Well, she put yeah. the C in. <laughs> you know, that's got, that's got now, Sydney, oh, we yeah. have <laughs> buckles. <laughs> what have you put? His sack. His sack. <laughs> oh, it's a yeah, bit it's off. It's... Well, I'm sorry, Linda. <laughs> oh. Sorry about that, Linda. Well, sorry, Linda. That's the game. Would you right. join me, Roger, now for super match? Right. <laughs> You're not going to wait empty handed, Linda, because this is the BBC. Uh, and people don't do things for nothing at the BBC, do they? Oh, yes, we do. Uh, yes, we do. Yeah, well, let's not go into that now. Yeah. <laughs> You're taking with you not just your blankety black jet, but can pen, but also a Christmas hamper as well, and a Merry Christmas to you, well Linda. Done. Thank you. Well, it's super match now. We held a poll with the studio audience to ascertain what they thought was the correct phrase or saying, concealed behind this thin, damp cardboard facade <laughs> with a fella inside called Fred who wheels it up and down. There's nothing electronic about this, right? right. These in a bad way, he's got hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he's making a pile. That's the <laughs> Now, <laughs> rising in popularity, we have 50 blanks, 100 blanks, and 150 blanks. And for the benefit of anybody who's strayed onto this channel, at home, these are some of the prizes we're offering tonight. Pamper yourself with a selection of body preparations. Have more fun this Christmas with a super collection of games. A traditional Christmas hamper full of seasonal goodies. Enjoy a Christmas after dinner treat with these liqueurs and chocolates. Make the most of winter with his and hers anoraks and a toboggan. Or get away from it all. Tonight's star prize is a fabulous holiday for two in Madeira. <laughs> Quiz show that can match these prizes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now then, please reveal the legend. Thanks, Fred. <laughs> went a bit rough there, didn't I, Fred? <laughs> Plum. Now, you can only have three of our wonderful panelists to help you. Who would you like first? Wendy. You're going for Wendy Richards, and most of us do. <laughs> Plum. Pudding. Well done, Wendy. Well, <laughs> top of my pie. <laughs> Hello, Roger. Samantha. Samantha Fox. I was going to say pudding. Um, I don't know. Plum. Take your time. We'll put the commercials on. Okay. <laughs> if we had any. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch. <laughs> plum tree. She's going for plum tree. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, Sam. Thanks, Liz. Ah, Thanks. Don't <laughs> you worry. When the chips are down, she is very good. <laughs> <laughs> now, Roger.
Roger, who else would you like for the last one? Eddie. Do you know he's yeah. the only one on this panel who isn't a double act? Have you seen this Plum Stone? Plum Stone? Of course you'd have Plum Stone. That's a good one, Yeah, I had some of them in my kitchen. Well, we've got Stone, <laughs> we've got Pudding and, and Tree. But, Roger, in your wisdom, if you wish to have one of your own, then that, of course, is your democratic right. <laughs> what would you like to have? I'm going for pudding. You're going for pudding. Well, I don't know. Yeah. For 50 blacks, we have... <laughs> plum jam. Jam, jam yes. Yeah. That was an obvious one, Les. Wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> for 100 yeah. blanks, we have... Plum a pie. plum pie. Another obvious one. Wasn't it? <laughs> for 150 blanks... <laughs> Plumstead. <laughs> A Christmas hamper of seasonal goodies. The only thing is, it was Christmas 1949. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind, do you? So we may see you now on the headset later on. Okay, Roger? Thank you. Very much. What shall we go around the back? <laughs> Again, having a very merry time. <laughs> and let's meet <laughs> our next contestants. <laughs> Wanda Holt. Wanda. Wanda Holt Please. from Normanton in Yorkshire. You're married yes. to Paul. You have two sons, Michael and Alexander. Yes. <laughs> and oddly enough, I, I hope you don't want to say this. There was a time when you were younger, you were heavily constipated, is that right? No, that's not true. <laughs> yes, it says no, on here, because not. the no, only thing... They said the only thing would cure you was a certain brand of beer. In other words, a double diamond works. <laughs> 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 He improves with age. Some <laughs> 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 Now, you once visited the volcano, Mount Vesuvius. Yes, that's true. And the chairlift broke down and you had to walk back. Yes. But nobody panicked because you all sang, Lava, come back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Among other things. Yes, I bet you did. Andy, we've got to you now. It's very striking, that, Andy. Thank you. Andy Burzins. Yeah. When they begin. <laughs> Burzins. <laughs> You're from Oldborough near Hull. Yes. It's a nice place, though. I've always driven through there fast. <laughs> <laughs> You're a keen sportsman. Yes. And you nearly got into the Olympics as a shot putter until they saw where you were putting it. <laughs> <laughs> and it says here you do impressions. <laughs> well, go on, let's see some. Go on. Hey, watch it, watch it. What? Margaret Rutherford. <laughs> what a cracker. No Frank over there, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only Frank Carson I've heard with a Liverpool Would accent. <laughs> Would you allow somebody else to get on the air? <laughs> Some of the sparks don't come off your fillings. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have. <laughs> That's well, not I... a mouth, it's a dry duck. <laughs> Yours is the only mouth I've known that has a fan belt. <laughs> Do you know, his mouth was open so often last year, we had to lag his tonsils. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go. Well, let him do his other impression. Well, let me do another gag. <laughs> <laughs> right, Off you go. Right, right, lovely boys. <laughs> <laughs> what, have we, uh? Will you give the lad a chance, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing at Eddie. Don't be silly. Who's ever done that? <laughs> mm -hmm. You work as an agricultural sales specialist. Yes. But well, you I might know. be leaving, apparently. You're going to be a fireman. Yes. I well, let's hope it works out. Burning ambition in me. Well, let's go to Blazes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies always first and look lovely. Like Thank a hemorrhage. <laughs> <laughs> Wanda, it is oh, so yeah. hot in Hawaii. The balloon's gone up. It is so hot in Hawaii that instead of wearing his red coat and boots, Father Christmas wears blanks or blank instead. It is so hot in Hawaii that instead of wearing his red coat and boots, Father Christmas wears blanks or blank instead. Hawaii is very hot. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. a lovely freckle. 
First one I've ever seen that moves. <laughs> Lights on, please. Right. Take your time. Yes. Closing the question. Yes. She's so hot in Hawaii that instead of wearing his red coat and boots, Father Christmas wears blanks or blank instead. A grass skirt. A grass skirt. Mm. Very good. Yeah. Eddie? I'm getting very good at this, me, eh? You're great. Yeah, that's really good. Very good. Linda? Oh, dear. Trunks. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, Never mind. Elephant, it's like an elephant. You can always reverse the charge. <laughs> Sydney! You really want to know. <laughs> <Black pipes. laughs> Why don't you do something different? <laughs> like resign. <laughs> I did that three yeah. seasons ago. Yeah, shut up, you. What have you got for me, Sammy? Well, this is what I'd like to see you in, Les. A G string. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. You've had a fits <laughs> depression. <laughs> Frank! I've always loved this show because of its intellectual content. <laughs> There's an Irish balloon, it's coming down, steady up. <laughs> Rascal! Well, well done! Wendy, well, 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 I'm a third right. Well, there's three of you there. <laughs> 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 Guys. You'll go out in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Brown shorts and flip-flops. Well, I think we're going to have grass gaps. Yeah, grass gaps and flip-flops. Well, you're three now, so... Andy, it's up to you. I wouldn't say Sissy was fat, but in order to fill her stocking with presents, Santa Claus discarded his sleigh and hired a blank. Now, remember the clues in the question, if you analyse it. I wouldn't say Sissy was fat. <laughs> <laughs> but in order to fill her stocking up with presents, Santa Claus discarded his sleigh and hired a blank. <clears throat> now you've got it. Yeah. You certainly have. Right. <laughs> Lights on, please. OK, Andy, I wouldn't say Sissy was fat, but in order to fill her stocking with presents, oh, Santa Claus discarded his sleigh and hired a... Lorry. A lorry! Not a bad thought. <laughs> Not a bad thought. Have one. Les, that's got to be a lorry, hasn't it? Yes! yes. yes. Oh, I'm good at this. Linda, my beloved. Who's lovely? Oh, you are. <laughs> Well, it's not a lorry, <laughs> but it's dead right, isn't it? It's a truck. Truck! He's got yeah. one right! <laughs> <laughs> What have you got for me, my beloved? See, all that time you thought I never knew the answer, Laurie. Of course I knew it, because you were confident. Frank Carson, do that, Jen. What have you got for me? <laughs> a very well-known actor. Who was that? Peter. Laurie. <laughs> Wendy? Pentecnican. Yes. yes. Higher education. Well, yeah. Yes. You've got to allow it. Have yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Open University. It's Christmas. They're not going to win much, are they, even if they do? <laughs> <laughs> well, you've done very well there, Andy. Thank you. Now, let's see how the state of the game now. Oh, yes, six now. It's up to you, Wanda. Right. Wanda. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever thought how Santa Claus looks when he delivers his presents to a nudist camp? <laughs> I suppose he has to tie his jingle bells on the end of his blacks. <laughs> what? Who's heard that question? I am walking this way. <laughs> now I'm walking that way. <laughs> We're jumping today. <laughs> this Can you do it again? <laughs> I'll do that for you, Linda. Yes, Have you ever thought how Santa Claus looks when he delivers his presents yeah. to a nudist camp? I suppose he has to tie his jingle bells on the end of his blank or blanks. The answer's obvious. Yep. Yes. Well, we all know yeah. the obvious. Isn't so, it, how do you spell it? Yeah. Can I give you a clue? We can't write it, though. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can't write that on television. If you wish to write it on television, yeah. you can. It is exactly what's in your thoughts. Oh, will. Right, you can. <laughs> no, you're doing nothing wrong. Spell it. It's too easy. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, in, in, really? <laughs> Have you ever thought how. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever thought how Santa Claus looks when he delivers his presents to a nudist camp? I suppose he has to tie his jingle bells on the end of his blanks. Fingers. Um, oh, that's that, I think that's what we were all it's thinking. It's decent. Yes. It's decent. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that's the first thing that sprang to our minds. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's handy. <laughs> <laughs> Linda. Yes. Well, 
end of my beloved. Well, yes. top. <laughs> I do know this. Blanks. Yeah, well, blank yeah but you said blanks, blanks and blank. Yeah, I said didn't. Blank. I said yes. blank. Did I say blank? Yes. 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 You said blank or blank. Well, the best thing to do, lads, is, again. is <laughs> run up with the Christmas and watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my love. But that was well of viewing the 12. <laughs> <laughs> Will you come and join me now? Goodbye, <laughs> <laughs> darling. We have to say goodbye reluctantly. Your beauty added something to this prosaic way of life of ours. Like a rose trapped between the pages of eternity. Oh, dear. My room number is 405. <laughs> oh, 410. Oh. <laughs> but you're not going to empty handed, no, by Jiminy. <laughs> because you're taking with you a Christmas hamper, our good wishes, and a black de black jab can pen. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Super match <laughs> Don't forget, kids, pull your face at your parents on Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> now then, please reveal the legend. Boxing <laughs> Black. <laughs> now, this is a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> right, you can have three of our delightful celebrities to help you. Who would you like first? I'd like Wendy, please. Yeah, I'd be Wendy. Wendy, my love, boxing. Day. Well done, Wendy. <laughs> One stands aghast. Man, you've had that curry. <laughs> well, you're going for Frank Carson. Frank, boxing? Uh, boxing match. Well done, Frank. No problem, Les. Not at all. off the top of my head like that. That's, <laughs> the, that's not me. You don't have to think about anything. I've seen the act. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? Some. Samantha Fox, boxing? Love. Very good. Now, you've got three good ones there. Here, you see, you've got uh, Sam with love, boxing. Frank with match, Wendy with day. But if you want, you can have one of your own, Ken. It's up to you. It's got to be day. It's got to be day, I agree with you. Right, for 50 blacks we had... Boxing match, Frank. Well done. Okay. For 100 blacks we had... Boxing ring. Oh, mercy me. Slap a mouth thigh. <laughs> I never thought of that. I did not. <laughs> but for 150 blacks it has to be... You've got that to uh, Christmas, how's your father, with the uh, seasonal goodies? Thanks very much. OK. <laughs> but you've got a tie-break situation now with Roger. So can you please uh, revolve uh, the revolve? <laughs> now, this is an awkward one. <laughs> There's somebody up there. <laughs> now, in this, fellas, you write the answer down to the question, OK? The panel will speak forth in ringing tones. If you match with what they say, hold your card up aloft in a spirit of Mardi Gras. <laughs> All right, everybody thinks we're having a damn good time. <laughs> it's a lovely suit, that. Your mum. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Don't forget, hold your cards up at the end of it. Principal girl in the BBC panto this year is Delilah Smith. But she caused chaos at the rehearsal when she tried to blank Mother Goose's golden egg. <laughs> Ooh. Principal girl in the BBC panto this year is Delilah Smith, or Delia Smith. But she caused chaos at the rehearsal when she tried to blank Mother Goose's golden egg. Delia Smith. Delia Smith. Delilah. She's a cook. Don't write it down, Frank. You're speaking. I see. Save your energy, Frank. Right. You're going to need it to try and yawn. <laughs> Ready, fellas? <laughs> you got it down? Right. Oh. Eddie? Yes. What do you uh, think it is? Scramble. No. Linda? Fry. Nope. Oh. Boil. Said. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> All the best, Roger. 
Be not going to empty handed, none of our contestants do. Because only if you won your Christmas hamper of seasonal goodies, you've also got yourself, by the largesse of the BBC, another hamper of se seasonal goodies. <laughs> <laughs> My, he does have a lot of hampers. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll take away with you, of course, your bloody black jab of campan. All the best. Now, you've done very well for yourself now, Andy. You've already won your Christmas hamper of seasonal goodies, but you could double this up to a holiday for two in Madeira, right, and you go buy cake. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that, as long as it doesn't leak? <laughs> so you come here up here now for the head-to-head, -head, OK? Yep. No, 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 this way, Andy. Andy. <laughs> Round, Andy. <laughs> Andy's a bit nervous, folks. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, excuse me, I've, I've forgotten the head-to-head <laughs> -head card. Oh. Okay, stay there. is a sagging it doesn't matter does it it's just where they sag it that worries me <laughs> now in the sandy <laughs> you can only have one of our celebrated panelists to help you who would right. you like wendy i think you're going for wendy, wendy richard again, good, good girl right. wendy just take your time <clears throat> you speak it wendy will write it down if you match with what she says you're off to madeira in a skiff right <laughs> <laughs> what pelly's balloon you'll do it mm. right you ready you ready wendy are you poised Slay blank. I don't say it yet. Slay blank. Look at me, mummy. I'm a big, big ball. <laughs> All right, Wendy. Yes. Okay. Now take your time. Everybody's rooting for you, Andy. Okay. Come on, Andy. Slay. Bells. Slay bells. Slay bells. Yeah! Yeah! Got that hamper, Christmas hamper with you. You've also got your bloody black jet and pen. And of course, that holiday for two in Madeira, yeah. and you fly from Biggin Hill. <laughs> <laughs> so as long as the two star petrol holds out. <laughs> Very Merry Christmas to everybody, particularly to our studio audience and our friends at home. But especially, of course, to Eddie, to Linda and Sid, to Samantha Frank, and to Wendy. Smash your paddle. Come down and join us, everybody. Come <laughs> <down>. <laughs>